Olaf's perfect day. Summer had finally arrived in Arendelle. The warm weather was nice, but one day it was especially hot. Most of the villagers wanted to stay inside where it was cool. But not Olaf. He could hardly wait to get outside. This was the kind of day he had always dreamed of. Olaf ran into Princess Anna's room. Anna, Anna, he shouted. It's a perfect summery day. Let's go outside and play. Anna groaned. It's so hot and sticky out. Olaf, but she had to smile when she saw Olaf's hopeful face. Together, Olaf and Anna went to look for Queen Elsa. They found her in the Great Hall talking to a visiting dignitary. Olaf shyly introduced himself. Hi, my name is Olaf and I like warm hugs. Huh, hello, the dignitary stuttered. In surprise, he had never seen a talking snowman before. Olaf turned to Elsa and today is the best day for warm hugs because it's a sunny day and hot. Can we please go play in the sunshine? Elsa laughed. That sounds like fun, Olaf. How about a picnic on the shore of the Fjord? Fjord, suggested Anna. Olaf raised his hands with glee. Ooh, I love picnics! Anna, Elsa, and Olaf headed to the royal kitchen for picnic supplies. They had found Gerda, one of the castle servants, with her head in the icebox. Gerda, what on earth are you doing? asked Elsa. Gerda closed the icebox door. I'm trying to keep cool. Olaf giggled. Did you bake cookies today? He asked. They'd be great to bring on our picnic. Gerda shook her head. Oh, it's much too hot for baking. How about ice cold lemonade instead? Elsa suggested to the snowman. Ooh, I love lemonade. Olaf cheered. Olaf, Anna, and Elsa set off for their picnic adventure. They arrived at the royal gardens where a few children were lying around too hot to play games. Olaf ran over to greet them. Hi, my name is Olaf. Don't you just love summer? The children watched as Olaf chased butterflies and blew the fuzz off some dandelions. Soon everyone joined in the fun. After a while, Anna plopped down on the grass. Whew, I'm ready for our picnic. Elsa agreed. Yes, let's head to the docks. Then we can sail to the Fjord. Fjord. Olaf, who had been chasing a bumblebee, stopped in his tracks. I've always wanted to go sailing. At the docks, Anna and Elsa choose a beautiful sailboat. Olaf hummed happily as he steered the boat. When they searched the shore, Anna set up the picnic, but Olaf couldn't sit, sit still. I just love the feeling of sand on my, on my snow, he squealed, making, the sand, making a sand angel. Anna took off her shoes and wiggled her toes. Oh goodness, that is uh, uh, hot, she squeaked. She tiptoed to the Fjord's edge and let the cool water wash over her feet. Ah, that's better. The three friends spent the whole afternoon playing in the summer sand. Playing in the summer sun. They built sand people and sand castles. They chased waves. They even danced with seagulls. And finally, when they tired themselves out, Anna, Elsa, Olaf and Olaf had a picnic on the shore of the Fjord. Hands down, this is the best day of my life, said Olaf. As they sailed back to Arendelle, Olaf admired the colors of the sunset. I wish I could hug the summer sun, he said. I bet it would feel wonderful. Back at the docks, Kristoff and Sven were waiting for their friends. They had spent the afternoon working and their sled was full of ice. Anna jumped out of the boat and flung her body against the cold blocks. Oh, and I'm glad. Oh, am I glad to see you? Olaf told Kristoff and Sven all about their wonderful day. I wish I could. Al it could always be summer, he said. Summer is wonderful, Elsa agreed, smiling at her sister. But tomorrow, I predict a chance of snow.